Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Dennis with Eureka and today I want to take just a few minutes and walk through a, a how-to video that explains what field links are uh, as a feature inside of the Eureka product. Field links are a feature that allows uh, folks who are building out Eureka forms, um, it allows us to connect questions and answers from a Eureka form and map that data back to a specific Salesforce object. Um, so an example might be, as we kind of look on the slide here, that we might have a form that uh, we want our users to be filling out inside of Eureka that is going to map data over to an account record, for example. We can see there on the left uh, that we have some questions inside of our Eureka form template. This one is a customer site visit. And we have those four fields right there. And those fields are actually going to map information over to uh, the account record inside of Salesforce as soon as somebody clicks submit uh, when they're filling out this form. Field links are important because they do a couple of things. Number one, they allow you to update information on different records inside of Salesforce, which can be really powerful. These forms can map information to many different objects at once, even if you want to. From a form. Uh, the second thing that's really useful about field links is they can pre-populate information from Salesforce onto the form. So for in this case, uh, if somebody were to open up that form, that customer site visit, uh, and the form is related to that particular account, those four fields would actually be pre-populated uh, with that account data. So there's a lot of usefulness that comes with the field link feature. But how does it work? So as you can see here, uh, Eureka Forms can only update objects that they look up to. So field links only work if we have a lookup relationship from Forms, which is its own object in Salesforce, uh, to, in this case, Accounts. So as you can see here, we're, we're creating, we've, we have a relationship between the Form object and the Account object. Uh, and in this case, we have our account, and then we have the related list of all the different forms um, for that specific account. This relationship is what allows us to make field links possible. It's what allows our Eureka forms to be able to update information on this particular account. Now, out of the box, we actually give you several different lookups so that you can hit the ground running and start building field links right away, like account, contact, case, opportunity, and lead. But in some cases, you might have a different object that you want Eureka's forms to be able to map information to, and that's totally okay, However, what you need to do in order for that to be possible is you need to create a lookup relationship from the form object to that uh, desired object. So for example, if you're using Field Service Lightning and you want forms to be able to map information to work orders, you need to create a lookup relationship on the form object after you install Eureka and make it look up to work orders. And then you can use field links all you would like. So I'm just going to jump into a quick demo here of us building out a quick field link um, form template so you can kind of see how it works. So what I've got up right now is my Salesforce environment where we can see I've actually opened up the field or the form templates tab. So for those of you who have installed Eureka, you can visit uh, the Eureka app in your app launcher and click on form templates. And these are all the different forms that I've built for my organization. Now, what I can do is I can go over and select new on the right hand side here, which is going to bring us into our form template builder. At this point, we can name our form template anything we want to. I'm going to keep it simple, so I'm going to call it account form. And then we'll click OK. And now this is our drag and drop editor that allows us to create the different questions that we want people to start. Uh, answering when they're filling out each of these forms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a section onto the canvas and we'll call this account information and we'll click save and then next I'm going to add a couple of questions uh, to my to my form template here. The first one is we're, we're going to call this account name and we're going to start right off the bat with a couple of field links here and the way that these field links are built is we can select what kind of question type we want this to be. Now there's a lot of different question types here inside of our template editor. Uh, you can see here we've got attachments and photos and checkbox lists, a lot of different data types. But what we're looking for in this case is the section or the option that says field link. If we select field link right here, 
we'll notice that we can select our field link lookup. This is actually the lookup that I was just defining on our PowerPoint presentation a moment ago. These are the objects inside of, this, inside of your Salesforce environment that have a lookup relationship uh, from the form up to each of them. So in this case, I want to update information on the account, so I can select account here. But like I said, if we wanted to update information on work orders or service appointments or tickets or any other objects, um, those relationships could have to be built. And after they're built, we can go ahead and select them here. So here, we'll select that we want an account. And then we can pick from any of the individual fields on this particular object. So here, I just want the account name. Uh, so we'll select that here, and we'll click Save. And just for good measure, we'll add another uh, we'll add another question to our canvas here. So we'll say that this is, um, you know, an example question number one. And we'll just actually leave this as a text question. And the reason why I want to do that is because this one won't actually update any information on the account record. It'll just be a question that lives on the form itself and nowhere else, which is really important also. It's just in this case, we're talking about field links. Uh, so we'll, we'll demonstrate those here. So I'll click Save here. And finally, we can just uh, keep this short. So we'll click Save uh, right here inside of our template builder, and we'll close. Now, after we close out, what we need to do is we actually need to publish this form template. So I'll go over to the gear icon here, and we'll select Publish, which now makes this template available for our users uh, to be able to actually use and fill out. Now, right away, let's just go ahead and select, and, and we'll create a new form right here from the desktop. There's so many different ways that we can create forms and make forms accessible to our end users. That's not what this demo is about. We could have this behind a button on the account page. We could have this on our mobile application. We could deep link from Salesforce Mobile or Field Service Lightning or Salesforce Maps or other third-party applications that take us into a form. There's so many different options for distributing forms out to our users. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to click New Form right here. Now when we click New Form, the first thing that it's going to ask us is it's going to say, what is the account that, we, that this form is going to be for? This is us literally populating that lookup on the form object uh, as we're creating this new record. So I'm going to open up this little lookup here, and we'll, we'll come in here and we'll just type in an example account. We'll call this uh, for McClure uh, Products. So we've populated that lookup now, and we can select Complete the New Form. And what this is going to do is it's going to take us into a spot here in Salesforce where we can actually fill out this form. And what we'll notice is that, just like I said before, it's actually pre-populated with information that's coming uh, from our account. Now, in this case, what I want to do is I'm just going to flip over to our other tab here, and we can go ahead and check our work. So let's say that we want to go and see what McClure Products looks like inside of Salesforce. And sure enough, we can see that it's an account, and the account name field says McClure Products. So that's what we're looking at so far here. But in this case, I'm actually going to update that information. So here we'll, we'll go back to our form, and we'll say that this isn't actually McClure products. This is actually Smith's products. We have the account name wrong, or in this event, we just want to update that account name. So we'll select that it's Smith's products, and then we'll move on to our other question, and we'll say that this is example answer number one. And that's it. We'll click Submit. And what's going to happen now is we're taken over into a place where we can review our finally submitted form. But in this case, I'm actually just going to jump over and review our account information. And from here, I can just click Refresh. And what's going to happen is what we'll notice is when our, our page refreshes, we'll see that Eureka has actually updated information on our account record right here inside of Salesforce. So we can see that account name has actually been changed from McClure products over to Smith's products. And furthermore, what we can actually see is we can go to our related list on this account page and we can see that a form has actually been filled out and submitted by a user at this particular time and date. Um, and if we want to, we can go ahead and click into that form. And so every single time that our users are going to be filling out forms for this account, uh, these forms are actually going to stack up right here in that related list. And we can jump in and see the answers to each of them. But this, is, this has been a quick demo on what it's like to actually build out field links which allows, um, which allows Eureka users to map information uh, from a Eureka form and, um, and map that data over into a different object inside of Salesforce. So that's all for now. I'm going to sign off. If you have additional questions, you can feel free to visit us at eureka.io. Uh, you can check out our knowledge base to learn more about how field links work 
or certainly reach out to our team if you have questions about how you could apply field links uh, to your specific Eureka use case.